Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here and in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 3G, your iPhone 3GS old boot ROM and your iPhone 3GS new boot ROM. Now we can do this with either 4.1 firmware or 4.2.1 firmware. Now if you are on the new boot ROM iPhone 3GS then I strongly advise you stick to the 4.1 firmware when you're applying this method. If you're on the iPhone 3G or 3GS old boot ROM then uh, why not update to the latest 4.2.1 because it is an untethered jailbreak. So I have my iPhone 3GS here, um, old boot ROM, and I'm going to start the journey exactly how you would. I've got no SIM in there. I'm on the latest firmware, uh, which you can see here, version 4.2.1, and you can get that from Settings General and then click on About. And then you can see here, modem firmware, i.e. baseband 0515, which is not unlockable. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to acquire the unlock. So this is not jailbroken, starting from scratch. So you're going to need two downloads. Um, one is the new Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5, which you can get here. I'll give you a link to the Dev Teams blog. And the second download will be the firmware which of course is whatever you're on, whether you're on 4.1 or whether you're on 4.2.1. Okay, um, and again, save it to the desktop, whichever one you're on. So once we've done that, like me, you will have the red snow and you will have the firmware for your respective device. And I've just added a boot logo because I know I can change that. So once it's done, we want to double click into red snow. Now, Windows 7 and Windows Vista users should right click and we need to go right down to properties and change the compatibility to Windows XP okay once you've done that we want to apply the changes and click OK and then we can go ahead and run the program okay so once we've done that we want to browse for the firmware which again we save to the desktop and it comes up with that question do you have the older model uh, sorry do you have the newer model of the 3GS i.e. the old boot ROM okay and I have the older model so I'm going to click no and we can continue again if you have the 3G you won't get that pop up okay and we'll have these select check boxes okay so of course install Cydia uh, install custom bundles, install iPad baseband, very important, you must check that. Okay, so the option lets you upgrade to the iPhone, uh, the iPhone baseband to the iPad baseband, which is where we have the crash. Uh, warning, if you choose to do this, you won't be able to downgrade back to the normal iPhone baseband. You'll also void your Apple warranty. You can easily detect this baseband if you're, being, uh, if you're in the service. Okay, starting with 4.2.1, you won't be able to restore to stock IPSW, only custom ones from Ponage Tool. Be sure you understand the consequences before choosing to upgrade. So, of course, this is the only way we can unlock. So, yep, I understand. Uh, we can then go on and either do the verbose boot or I'm going to go for custom boot logos select the logo I've already got recovery select the same logo because I like that one okay and then that's it that is the most important thing if we're unlocking if you are unlocking install iPad baseband click next and now basically before we go to the next stage we need to make sure our iPhone is off connected via USB and then it will take us through the changes of uh, stages sorry of setting it into DFU mode so let's go ahead and switch the iPhone off like so wait for the clock wheel to uh, switch off and go completely blank then we click next and it will say to hold the power button down home and power button for 10 seconds release the power button and keep your thumb on the home button and I'll just show you there it was taking me through the stages of course
Okay, guys, so it's all done. Uh, when it does say don't interrupt flashing baseband, that does take a couple of minutes, um, and it will just flash straight to the Apple logo and then kick you back onto the dock screen. Okay, so let's just make sure that that's all worked. So settings at general and about, and you will see I'm still on 4.2.1 as I started, but my modem firmware baseband is now 0615, which is unlockable, and we can do that now by going into Cydia and uh, don't worry if your Cydia icon is white uh, once we do the reboot it will um, show its true app color okay guys so once your Cydia is loaded I want you to click on manage sources and right in front of you repo666.ultrasnow.com you don't even need to add anything in, you want to click on that and this is the package you want. So you can see here um, iPhone 4, 3G and 3GS software unlock um, for iPhone 4 users on 4.1 firmware you can unlock on the 01.59 baseband 3G and 3GS users, you saw how we did that, we updated to the 0615 on the 4.21 firmware and we can now unlock by installing Ultra Snow. So go ahead and click install. Let it do its thing. Okay, it automatically reboots. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. This phone is locked to O2. I know that because I have the um, tariff with O2 with the 3GS. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is stick in a an orange SIM. Okay. Let's see if we get service. There we go. Let's make a quick call. Let's take that out. Alright, cool guys, so that all works. Again, if you're on iPhone 4, um, you can unlock the 01.59 baseband on 4.1 firmware. So anyways guys, it's your boy D7, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys real soon.